Hello, my name is Daisy Galan, and today I'm going to be talking about several technology trends within the transportation and distribution field that are going to be very important to keep up with in the future, especially for operational management in this field. There are seven technology trends that I'm going to talk about today uh, on this video. The first trend is the use of Internet of Things. This ability is to get raw data at any point in the chain, whether it's from start to finish or even in the middle. Um, this would include third party logistics providers. A third party logistics provider is, for instance, as an example, you just went to your local FedEx company and you had them ship a product to you to final destination. You're just tapping into other people's processes that are already there and already existing to maximize what you're using. Uh, also, the use of uh, RFID technology and other Bluetooth monitoring technologies that can provide that real time data that our consumers and we're looking for throughout our supply chain management and operational management uh, within our companies. The second trend we would like to talk about, or I'd like to talk about a little bit, is value-added services and transportation management systems. Transportation management systems are a complex platform that offer offer a lot of different uh, abilities uh, and they could tailor them to your business specifically. Uh, some key things that transportation management systems offer is really that customer satisfaction tool, best value carrier tool, as well as putting all of your billing, your analytics, your invoicing everything in really to one system and that everyone can see in any point at any time. It's a very value added system and it's worth investing in and for your future. The third is the distribution technology is point of sale as well as e-commerce. Point of sale is just replacing your basic old register. It is where we can now swipe our card on an iPad or any computer and we really have that mobile billing and register credit card processing system at our fingertips. This is a huge investment especially for your small business and business owners. These technologies optimize your freight, your packaging requirements, as well as your inventory. So they're very key to optimizing yourself as a future and really adding that return on investment. The fourth trend is robotics and artificial intelligence. AI and robotics is replacing the old labor force. The millennials nowadays, they don't want jobs with labor. They want jobs to have to do with technology. So investing in this technology is really going to be the future of your company Company and in hiring those millennials and us new age uh, people that don't want to deal with old labor. Uh, IA and uh, <clears throat> robotics also really help meet the stringent OSHA and regulatory requirements that are being levied on us year in and year out. It really helps us with uh, the technology and keeping our business alive and not getting all of the, uh, the fines that we see with OSHA when you do in human labor. The fourth, I'm sorry, the fifth is the hours of service. Hours of service is really just a requirement, another regulation for the transportation system where drivers are only allowed to drive so long and so many hours on the road. This automates it to where you can see and log automated logs of your drivers and how how long they've been out there and ensure that they don't violate this regulation. Uh, humane uh, practices and labor forces has really become a big part of when people want to take a contract with you as a business. They want to make sure that you're meeting all the regulatory requirements. So this is very important when it comes to contracts and gaining those contracts you need to keep your business alive. The sixth trend is mobile technologies. It's how we do business today. We no longer have to be behind a desk. We don't have to be in our cubicles. We don't have to be in an office. We really can get out there and we can really have those relationships with our consumers, our suppliers, our distributors, and our manufacturers in a more personable relationship and build on that relationship. The seventh trend and the really the big one is just technology services. The future of supply chain management, transportation, distribution, and operational management is really going to be in the technologies that we have and that are coming in these applications and how we use those throughout our company and our business to really make sure we get our return on our investment and basically make sure we're meeting the extremely high demands of our consumers in a forever changing e-commerce world. These technologies are really going to be whether or not you survive as a business. So investing in yourself, investing in learning all these technologies and incorporating these technologies as well as teaching your people in the technologies is going to be the key to the future and how we survive. So I uh, hope you learned a little bit here with the seven trends of top, top technologies and I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you.